right, everybody. This is Shake and Bake from www.shakespub.net. This is Cervarium. All right, so I've been playing this game for, I don't know, maybe six months or more. This is, uh, in it's basically closed beta. Uh, it actually just went open beta in uh, Russia only, but in Europe and North America, it's still closed beta. Um, but what is Cervarium? So this is, again, another de uh, Russian development team into the whole post-apocalyptic theme, uh, similar to the Stalker series, uh, you know, the Misery Mod, Alpha, you know, that whole theme. It seems, you know, that the Russian developers, you know, that uh, that area of the world really is fascinated by this theme, this style of game. And it's, it's pretty damn cool. I really enjoy it. So uh, I'm going to bring you this video, just a general overview, some thoughts about it. Uh, I think it's got a lot of potential if done right. And uh, it's been a while since I've played it because, uh, you know, with any beta, there's updates you don't agree with so or you don't enjoy. But this latest update just came out. I jumped on a little bit, really enjoyed it, and it looks fantastic with two new maps. Let's check out this game. Uh, if, let's start off with the menu here. So you got these your character. You can upgrade or, you know, with stat points. I got one point of it. I'm just going to do that. Confirm done and then you've got your inventory so you can shop again this is going to be free to play this is going to be an mmo uh, i'm going to talk about some of the different game modes you get but you've got uh, you know the similar to these other games out there you've got you know you can wear a helmet mask different things affects your weight your speed down here um you can shop for equipment uh and there's different uh factions like this is independent traders scavengers uh black market the Renaissance Army, and then the Fringe Settlers. So these different factions you can join, a um, bunch of items you can buy, different types of ammo, upgrades. But obviously this all costs you points in game or, uh, yeah, that's right, gold. All these games, you know, they're free to play. You're going to have gold. they got to make money. Makes sense. You know, that's just the way it is. So I'm not going to go too much more than that. You get these uh, kind of missions you can do that give you extra points. Um in the game so you can try to accomplish those missions so let's get in the match and i'll talk about the different game modes you know, that are going to be coming out with this game and hopefully by the end of this year it'll be an open beta um and free to play open to everybody to play so uh let's jump in the action and we'll go from there okay so in our first match i'm going to bring you some footage from a couple different maps because the reason for that is i want you to to see uh, the atmosphere of these maps and this game, it is fantastic. Um, it definitely, the, I, they're using their own custom engine, I believe, from what I've read. And uh, man, does visually the game look fantastic. Uh, got this maxed out on my GTX 780. I'm getting about uh, 60 frames a second right now with uh, Fraps running. And more than that, obviously, when Fraps is not running. So what are we doing here? Uh, well, there's two sides, and then this is... Basically, like, uh, oh, yeah, this is, uh, I won't call it team deathmatch because what you have is batteries and you have these batteries that you're trying to collect and take back to a container on your side and, uh, you get the most batteries, you win the game. It's that simple. Hold on a second here. Now, one problem I have is uh, my ping is high. Uh, it, there, there's not like a list of dedicated servers. You kind of get thrown into. Into a match. Oh, I'm down. Not too bad. And you see those batteries they're carrying? They're putting those in there. And we're doing the same thing. So what's cool about this, it kind of, as the battle progresses... Uh, you can actually go steal the batteries from their container and bring it back over. And just, again, take in the visuals. Uh, there is weather effects. Uh, sometimes there's rain coming down. Um, you know, a thunder kind of sounds. It's really cool. Uh, there's these anomalies that are also on the map. I'll show you one over here. Let's look, look at that water. It just looks, again, visually really nice. Let's go over here to the left here. I'm going to see if this... Uh, again, it's been a couple months since I played. I've been waiting for this update to come out. And I'm um, definitely going to be playing a lot more of this. That's our guy. See, he's got a battery. He's going to go take that uh, back to the container. 
Let me see if I can find one over here. I think I might have got him. Uh, one thing, you see that big cross here that comes up? I'm not crazy about that. I'd like to see that uh, get reduced a little bit. But, they, you know, they're trying to appeal uh, to new uh, players, you know, FPS players, and also veterans. So uh, we'll see how that plays out. Uh, this is going to be an MMO, and there's going to be three different modes. There's going to be team play, uh, which is basically you're collecting these batteries, and, you, and there's going to be this um, anomalous storm that's going to be coming. So you need to get prepared for the storm, and the way you do this, you get these batteries. Uh, so this is the storm part of the game is not here yet, but eventually will be, and uh, and so that we're kind of getting in the practice of doing that. I think it'll be pretty damn cool once that gets put into the game, and I'll do an update definitely when that happens. So team on team, uh, not only are you uh, look at the lighting, that looks really nice. Not only are you preparing for the storm. You can find artifacts out here. So, hold on a second here. I'm in their uh, area here. I'm just going to kind of go back this way. You can find artifacts which help you as a player. Uh, you can put uh, like a gas mask on. Got him. Hold on here. I've got to concentrate. So right now, 2-4, uh, we're losing. There's a guy right here. There's a guy up there. Oh, I love the sound. This uh, didn't sound as good before. This is brain spray right here. Ha <laughs> ha, that was fun. Uh, he got me and I got him. Um, the other mode, which is cool, is you're going to have co-op in this. So you're going to have co-op... You kind of go through playing these kind of, again, post uh, pocket the hell worlds. And, uh, you know, you'll basically, I, you know, again, I don't know that, like what you're going to do actually in the co-op game. But I'm sure if it's in worlds like this, it'll be pretty cool. So looking forward to hear more about that. There's also um, going to be free play. And this free play sounds like, uh, which I think this might be the coolest mode actually I've done right is where you're going to uh, roam around in this, uh, this again, this post-apocalyptic setting. Um, no rules, you know, factions. You're joining up with people, uh, trying to survive. And basically, it's everyone for themselves, you know. That, I think, is going to be pretty damn badass. Hold on, let me get over here. Down. All right, so... A little taste of that map. I want to show you another map. There's some new two new map maps that came out uh, that really, again, show off the visuals and the feel of this game. So let's, uh, I'm going to turn off and I'll jump back on those maps and we'll go from there. All right, so here I go. I'm on another match. This one's called Vector. I have not played this one. I think this is one of the new maps. Uh, so let's check it out. Let's see what this is like. Already you can see this unique, uh, cool uh apocalyptic look to it they've really done a good job with this like i've said before all this overgrowth there's a lot of uh routes that you can take even though the maps are not huge there's a, a lot of different options as far as flanking go um call them hidey holes oh this guy's getting crack a lack of right here Oh, dropped him. Yeah. Another one. Nice, Jakey. Still, I got this high ping, which doesn't help. But again, part of that is uh, this game has definitely more of it. They're focusing on North uh, or uh, on Russia first. But again, when it goes open beta North America, Europe, I, I would hope to see matchmaking that puts you in matches uh, in your region of the country. But I'm still uh, able to play it, still playing it well, even with Fraps recording. So uh, don't let that deter you. It still plays. Mm, I got a hit on him, but he took me out. Uh, even with the bolt rifle, if once, like any other game, once you learn the maps, you can do well. 
Um, so you don't have to have uh, the SMG, uh, the PPSH, uh, even though I have it, it's fun to use that. Uh, you can go, if you're a bolt rifle player, you could do that. Man, this doesn't look good, the visuals in this game. All right, I got a shoddy up. I'll show the shoddy next. Uh, I really, look at that, man, nice. I really enjoy using the uh, sniper rifle in this game. It's a lot of fun. Got him. I don't know what happened to the sound there, but uh, my sound uh, went out on my gun. Not sure. Again, this is beta, so those things are expected to happen. All right, let's, let's go a little bit more on this one, then we'll try another map as well. I guarantee you that was uh, a ping issue right there. Let's see if we can get a look out here. I think this, again, like I said, this is... Uh, mm, damn, that was a nice shot, headshot right there. There's, uh, looks like some kind of generator right there. I'm not sure, again, this is... I haven't played this in a while, so... Looks like this might be a, maybe that's part of a, that's where the batteries are going, maybe? Great sounds in this game. I think that was my guy. No. Nope. Got him. Let's just go up to this thing and see what the hell this is. Okay, let's take this battery back as fast as we can here. These guys hopefully are going to protect me. So, it looks like that battery will power up that unit over there, whatever that is here at some point. Um, not seen that happen yet. Maybe that's not even working yet. Again, that's going to lead up to this whole storm anomaly thing. All right, let's get back here. Definitely getting battery backs gives you a lot of points. Where do I want to get the battery to? Back here? No. It should be on the map right up here. So here's our uh, doodad. Well, I guess I didn't uh, put it in the right spot. Is ours right here? All right, come on, Shake. Don't embarrass yourself. There. There. And it goes to this panel. That's pretty cool. And that's going to power this. And I'm guessing that is going to defend us from the uh, the uh, storm. Shot him in his leg there. Look down there. That's pretty awesome looking. I do have a bandit. I think if I hit... Um oh, I must not be wounded yet. I think... Uh oh, I just used it. Number three. Take your head back up, boy. Come on. Oh, look at that movement. Look at, look at him tap dancing back and forth. Oh! I'm not going to beat that MG. There is no melee. I don't think. Oh, is there a knife? I'm not sure. I, I don't think there's melee. Um, but again, another map. Pretty darn cool looking. Uh, let's uh, let's check out one more. Again, ten bucks will get you into this game. I'll put you a link to the uh, website below, and uh, it is currently. Oh, d -d 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 damn! I don't think so, buddy. Will ten bucks will uh, get you into the damn? We'll get you into the beta. I, I do think it's worth the ten bucks. I mean, as you can see from the gameplay, 
it's a lot more than you're getting some of these games on Steam that are coming out that are, you know, 20 bucks and the early access that uh, are definitely, definitely far from finished. All right, let's check out another map. All right, here we go on another map. All right, so this one has been out uh, a couple updates ago, but I want to show this one as well because it is really cool looking. Uh, one of the things, the lighting and shadows of this are ridiculous. I mean, and uh, for an MMO, it'll be fascinating to see if the graphics look this good or even better once, look at this, man. Once they open it up uh, to the free roam version, where basically it sounds like you can roam the wasteland. I wonder how, it'd be interesting how they're going to pull that off. And also with a call. But here's this anomaly in the middle. Here, look at that. Ah, oh, look at that, man. That is wild. And look at the sides of my gun. Look at the wood on it, how it's chipped off. That is really, really awesome. Look at that. I guess I should get back in the game. Just one I just it's hard. Look at that down there. Up. That was kind of ballsy right there. Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 I, I, I wounded one. I wounded one. All right, let's do a little bit more on this one. I, I'm hoping, I want to show you the, the newest map. Uh, we saw one of them. I, there's another one I want to show you. It's up on this, um, look at this, man. Look at the detail. Just, uh, it's crazy. I want to show you this other map because it's up on this rail cart or boat or something. And uh, it looks crazy. It's not a big map, but visually it is wild. All right, let's get out Look at this, how this looks. And... Again, there's so many of these little hidey holes where you can go and uh, look, look at the mist coming through here. Look at that. Uh, that you can use. So um, size average to small plays big, though, which is a, a nice thing uh, that the devs have pulled off. Um, That was just a praying spray there, baby. That looks so damn cool. Let's see if I can go up this way. I think I can. Here we go. That's our game. Look how this looks back here. Check this out. I have no clue where I'm going here, but I'm just kind of running back here. So. All right. Okay, so impressive, impressive map. Look really awesome. You know what? I keep saying let's let's uh, wrap it up. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do one more. And um, and as you can see, one thing before I wrap it and do one more map. Hopefully, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna find get on that map. You gotta see it. Is um, the pace? You can see it's. Uh, you know, there's moments of running gun, but you can. There's some. Uh, there's some bolt action moments. There's some tense moments. And there's, there is some snooping and pooping. And I hope they keep that in the game, the snooping and pooping. Because uh, I like that. I like when there's a moment of running the gunning. And then I like it when there's a moment of like this where I'm clearing corners. Jeez, look at that statue. Look at the sky. I mean, it's just... I'm going to say it again. Visually freaking in unbelievable. Uh, especially, again, if they can pull this off as an MMO. Looking that damn good. All right, where am I at here? Let me get my bearings, guys. I'm trying to get to their uh, their batteries here. I haven't been in here yet. Check this out.
What the? Did you hear that? What the? Check that out! That's wild. That's the first time I've seen that. That's definitely, you know, that stalker feel freakiness, you know, mutated creature thing. Oh, I'm getting contaminated big time. See? Now, look, look at my, look at my uh, screen out. I'm going to keel over here in a minute, I bet. I'm going to use... Uh, Nice job, Shaky. Even well contaminated. Go for it. Come on, baby. I'm not gonna be able to get up here. Gotta go this way. Come on. I'm being so quiet because it's like, will they hear me? Oh yeah! Yeah, baby! Oh, I'm talking about. <laughs> he, uh, I think he had a shot. He's so basically, he, you know, he fired that shot, and that was it. And as you can see, I've got this poison that's blurring my vision, making everything kind of green and foggy. Oh shit! If this guy's coming this way. I'm gonna have to drop this and open up on him. Is this where our, uh, where the hell's our battery thing at? Oh, it's over here. I haven't played this map too much. Like I said, I haven't played this in a while. I was, um, waiting for some more updates to come, and I'm glad I came back and checked it out, because, uh, man, is it playing much better. Oh! All right, another map. Let's do it. All right, so here we are in one of these new maps. This one's called Cologne. And uh, check this map out. Uh, <laughs> it looks freaking crazy. And I've only played this one other time, so, you know, I'm not going to know all the places to go. But check this thing out. It looks like an old train yard. That is so awesome. And, uh... Not a big map, but man, there's a lot of little areas you can go in and out of. Check out, check it out. I mean, it's crazy. Got him. He's right in here. And uh, I'll try to get over here to show you. Look out there. How cool is that? You're up on this. Uh, it looks like, a, I guess it's a uh, railway station is what it is. That's been overgrown. Find anybody. What? Oh, come on, come on. I'm loaded on those dudes. It was kind of uh, pray and spray. But again, my ping is really high, but you know, I'm still running fine. I can still play the game. But obviously that does affect a little bit uh, where the bullets hit. Again, you got some elevation changes here. If you're a sniper, you can get up here. I like that about this game, how it's not just uh, 
you know, two dimensional. You got this three dimensional part that comes in with the, with the up and down. All right. Just pause for a second right here. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Mayhem. You know what I like about this game? It's something different in the FPS genre. You know what? I'm going to use... Check this out. I got a bear trap. Kind of like a, a post-apocalyptic uh, claymore. Got him. <laughs> Damn! That's what I'm talking about! Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> I mean, could you imagine? It's like chopped off his uh, ankle and you're stuck. Don't think it necessarily kills you, uh, but it definitely uh, pins you there for a little bit. I guess I, I'm out of bullets, damn it. I'm not sure if I can pick up. I don't know if I can pick up. Uh, I don't think I can pick up. Uh, oh, check this out. Can you actually go up? No, it looks like you can't get up there. That would be cool. That's there. What's this say? You'll be the best when everybody dies. Ah, wow. All right, so this is the map I wanted to see. It's just, I, just, I just was impressed by the design of it. It looks freaking awesome, I think. And uh, definitely some, uh, you know, close quarters combat action. Uh, it's pretty cool. So um, you want to see more footage of... Uh, Severium, post in the comments. You have any questions about the game? I'll try to answer them. Um, again, it's in closed beta North America and Europe. It's open beta Russia. $10 will get you into the game early, but eventually uh, this game will be free to play. Um, so check it out. I'll put the link below to the website. And uh, again, uh, thanks for the support. Thanks for the subs, guys. This hit 2,000, which is pretty cool. It's kind of fun. And... Uh, Cheers, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield.